Welcome to this Canine Kleptomaniacs guide video. The aim of the game is to score the most pooch points by collecting and hiding sets of socks, slippers, old shoes, underwear and dog toys from around the house and by raiding the master's bedroom. To stash your goodies you'll need hiding places. So separate out the hiding places from the action deck. Deal each player one hiding place. Add two hiding places per player into the action deck. Then shuffle. Next, find the ultimate pour of pilferage and poo pizza cards from within the collectibles deck and put these to one side. More on these cards a bit later. Shuffle all remaining collectibles and deal each player five collectibles cards face down. This is your starting hand. Randomly insert the Pooh Pizza and Ultimate Pour of Pilferage cards in the top half of the Collectibles deck. When you've done this, place the Collectibles deck next to the Action deck. Now, deal each player one Doggy Character card. These cards give you target collectibles and special action powers. It's up to you whether you wish to keep your Doggo Character card secret from others throughout the game. Your final setup should look something like this. The game proceeds with players taking turns to do one of the following actions. Take an action card. Hide a set of collectibles from your hand. Or swap sets of collectibles between your hand and hiding places. Let's look at each of these briefly. Take an action card. Action cards allow you to pick up, steal and lose collectibles in a variety of ways. The action cards are mostly self-explanatory with simple read aloud instructions. Generally actions are carried out immediately on your turn and the card is discarded. Some cards however you place face up in front of you ready to use on a future turn. The rule sheet describes the function of all cards if you're in any doubt. Hide collectibles. Through the game, you'll be trying to add sets of collectibles to your hiding places to score maximum pooch points. Collectibles can only be hidden in sets of two or more, never singly, and you can only hide one kind of card on a hiding place. Once hidden, other players can't get their paws on your precious sets. Swap collectibles. The other main action you can take is to swap sets between your hand and hiding places. You might want to swap a more valuable set from your hand with a less valuable previously hidden set. Trading Trading is not counted as an action. You can trade alongside taking an action card or hiding or swapping. You can offer a trade at any point on your turn and trade with other players on their turn. Anything is tradable, provided the other players agree to it. Two cards can change your fortunes more than any others. The Poo Pizza is a potential disaster. Minus 30 pooch points if you're left holding it at the end of the game. So, you'll be trying to shift it on or bluff others into taking it from you. By contrast, the ultimate pour of pilferage is cause for celebration. You must declare immediately you have it in your hand. This awesome card allows you to carry out multiple actions on your turn, and some even when it isn't your turn. Unimaginable treasures await you in the master's bedroom. Some cards give you bonus pooch points. The ultimate hiding place doubles the face value of cards in a set placed on it. Other cards allow you either to take bonus pooch points at the end of the game, or use them as a set which you can combine with other cards in your hand or hiding places. Let's look briefly at how the two cardboard stand-ups are used in the game. First, Mr Squirrel. Mr Squirrel may be a tail-twitching, twerking baiter of doggos in reality, but in Canine Kleptomaniacs he could save your bacon by protecting you from the fluffy rumble. Let's say you've got this great hand. You're fearful that the fluffy rumble might come out before you've had a chance to hide. So, on your turn, instead of taking one of the usual actions, you take Mr. Squirrel. A couple of turns later, sure enough, out pops the fluffy rumble. 
Everyone groans, but you chuckle with glee, thanking Mr. Squirrel for his kindly protection. Anyone can take Mr. Squirrel from anyone else on their turn instead of playing another action. Don't confuse the function of the Mr. Squirrel stand-up character with the Squirrel action card. The ultimate poor stand-up is simply there to remind all players who's the current holder of the ultimate poor of pilferage card. As long as you've followed the setup described in this video and understand the basic rules of hiding and swapping, you're good to go. We hope that this little orange box of joy brings you hours of silly banter, screams of delight and generally good sociable fun.